All right, in this video, we're going to address an unfortunate but very common problem that we're seeing, and that is that someone is hacked into your account, into your Google account, and they are setting up a filter that's automatically deleting your emails as they come in. So a lot of you may not realize that you've been hacked, but then all of a sudden you realize that, wait a minute, I'm expecting an email from Bob or Peter or Mike, and those emails are simply just not even showing up. Or you notice those emails are showing up, but they're being automatically put to trash. So let me explain to you what's going on. And for those of you who have not already watched our video series on filters and labels, please stop this video right here. Go watch that series on creating filters and labels just so you can get up to speed on exactly what filters and labels are. So let's go ahead and address this one issue. So a filter is basically an action that you've told Google to take or to perform as an email comes in. So here we have one browser window open, we have Google Chrome open, and over here we have three tabs. The first tab is an account for John Clark. And we know that because if I click on this circle over here to the top right, we can see that we're logged into jcsampleemail at gmail.com. Then we have a spacer tab over here. Then we have another tab, which is for another Google account for Peter Klein. And we're gonna jump back and forth between these two accounts so we can send a test message back and forth. So let me jump back to this other tab, which is to the inbox for John Clark. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on the icon of this gear over to the right, then I'll click on settings. Next, I'll click on this tab titled filters and blocked addresses. And here we have all the different filters that we've created. One of these filters, however, is a filter that's doing something very unusual. It's this one. If we read it, it basically says, if any emails get sent to this email address of jcsampleemail at gmail.com, that those emails should automatically be marked as read and deleted. So let's go ahead and test this. I'm gonna jump back to the inbox for the John Clark account. I'm gonna come over here to this other tab for Peter's account, and we're gonna go ahead and click on the compose button and send an email to John Clark. Would help if I could spell. And then we're gonna go ahead and click send. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but whenever you send an email to somebody, when you're using Gmail or Google Apps, those emails arrive instantaneously, unless you have an option to set or delay those emails from being sent. So let's jump back to the John account. So you notice that that email hasn't shown up. And the reason for that is because we've simulated the same filter that these idiots are using once they hack into an account, which basically said if an email comes to your email address to automatically mark it as read and delete it. So we're gonna scroll down over here to the left-hand side and click on the label titled trash. And sure enough, there's the email that we just sent from the Peter Klein account to this John Clark account. So to fix this problem, you wanna go back to the gear, go back to settings, click on this tab again titled filters and blocked addresses, select the filter that's causing the problem, then click on delete. It'll ask you to confirm that you really want to delete this filter. We'll say okay. So let's go ahead and test it again. This time we'll jump back to the Peter account. We'll click on compose one more time. Type in test two in the subject. Then we'll click send. We'll jump back to the John Clark account and we'll click on inbox. And sure enough, there it is. So we fixed the problem of having any emails that normally get sent to you not automatically be read and treated as spam, but you have a much, much, much bigger problem. And that is that someone has had access to your life. Someone has hacked into your email account and who knows what other damage they could have done.
So I'm going to stop this video right here. But what I need you to do if this has happened to you is I want you to go ahead and delete that filter, obviously, but make sure you watch our other video series on securities, on how to change your password and what steps you should take in the event you've been hacked. Thanks for watching.